Hey guys, Nick Horton here, the Iron Samurai, and this is another episode of Weightlifting Academy. More mobility and more core work. You should always be doing both of those things all the damn time, working your ass off on it, because that is what facilitates your ability to lift heavy weights over your head more often, which of course I want you to do as often as you can, but you can't do that unless you have strong, healthy shoulders, strong, healthy lower back. Now, what you're going to do today is called a hanging hollow body something or other. I don't really know. I just kind of made the name up. But the point is, is that you do it. All right, I got Leslie hanging around here, and she is going to show you how to do a hanging hollow body drill. And this is to help build up your core. So remember, when I say core, I mean everything from your butt all the way to your face. That is your butt face region. Everything in there is going to be strengthened by this exercise. So what she's going to do in the first phase, there's two big phases of this uh, drill. The first phase, she's going to pack her shoulders down. Now, when she tries to pull her shoulders down, of course, uh, gravity being what it is and her hanging on a bar, I means she's going to pull her body up. But mainly what she's thinking about is trying to pull her shoulders down into the joint really hard like that. Notice how her lats are really tight like that. The way in which you can make sure you're doing this right actually is to make sure your arms are straight. A beginner who's just starting out on this will very often try to bend their arms in order to lift their body. Well, that's called a pull-up. We're not trying to do a pull-up here. You're going to keep your arms straight through this whole drill. Instead, she's lifting her body by way of trying to pack her shoulders down like that. Notice that rigidity in her lat. She's also getting some T-spine extension, and she's also going to be trying to squeeze her scaps together. So she's getting a good scapular retraction at the same time. In other words, this is a hell of a lot like a swan pull at this point. Now, what she's going to do to make this even harder for her core is she's going to lift her legs. Now, throughout this whole thing, that's not very complicated, of course. I think you can figure that one out. But throughout this whole thing, she's had her feet basically uh, in front of or at least straight down from her body. What she's not done is allowed her feet to go backwards like that. That would be wrong. I don't want you to do that for this drill. Instead, she's going to have her feet just hanging straight down or even poking forward a little bit as she does the first part where she just packs those shoulders down real tight, locks herself in, and then from this position, now she lifts her legs. Now she can just hold this for as long as she can, and then she just goes back down, hangs a little bit, and then she repeats. Does it again, packs those shoulders, lifts those feet. It's not a complicated drill, but I'll tell you what, it's definitely hard. <laughs> 